Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and I want you to check out my Bible. It's a whole library of 66 books in one. The story of God's love for us that runs deeper than the roots of the mountains and further than the most distant star. When you open its pages or scroll or click, you discover God's very own words written down by people who followed him. In these scriptures, we discover that through Jesus, we can have friendship with God and with each other. I've got four stories to show you what it can look like. So let's get started in the book of Ecclesiastes. Here, King Solomon, one of the wisest men to ever live, shares what he's discovered about friendship. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. And a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. When it comes to friends, one plus one always equals way more than two. Now, <laughs> that's some new math I can handle. Time to head over to the book of 1 Samuel. Okay, here we discover one of the most famous friendships in the Bible, David and Jonathan. Jonathan is the king's son, so he should be the next king, right? But God's already chosen John's friend David as the next king. You'd think John would be jealous, but instead he goes over and above to keep his friend safe when David finds himself between a spear and a hard place. Now let's jump ahead a couple books to 1 Kings. The kings of Israel after David and Solomon are a mixed bunch, but God sent the prophet Elijah to speak truth to them. It's a lonely job, and Elijah's on the run for his life. When he cries out to God in despair, God sends help. A young man named Elisha. Now, Elijah's got a prophet in training and a true friend to face the whirlwind journey ahead. Okay, we wrap up in the book of John. For three years, Jesus traveled everywhere with his closest friends. Then he was killed and returned to life. His friends were stoked, but Peter was on edge. See, before Jesus died, Peter had said three times he didn't even know Jesus. Would Jesus maybe be angry? Even unfriend Peter? <laughs> Let's just say when they come face to face, there's nothing fishy about the way Jesus responds to Peter. Being a friend, it's not always easy, but God can give us the courage and kindness we need to show true friendship. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.